She was a victim of religious hatred. 31-year-old Mawa El Shabini, an Egyptian, was stabbed to death in front of her husband and three-year-old child in a German courtroom, and she was pregnant. Her attacker, a 28-year-old German of Russian descent, had argued with her because she was wearing a headscarf, a symbol of her Islamic faith. He'd even called her a terrorist. In France, Muslims gathered at the weekend to express their condolences and their anger at what is seen as a rising tide of antipathy towards them. Depuis le 11 septembre, Since the 9-11 attacks, there has been a very significant increase of both Islamophobic words and actions in France. One would say there are more sentiments expressed against Islam and Muslims by certain politicians and intellectuals, even suspicion against them stigmatized as a group plotting against France. The French media has given very little coverage to this case. Analysts we spoke to say it's almost taboo for them to acknowledge France's simmering racial and religious tensions and that people just don't want to hear about them. I'm standing in Paris's infamous 93rd district. It really is the most deprived, the poorest suburb of the city. And it's here that the consequences of Islamophobia and racism in general are most keenly felt. For example, the unemployment rate around here is somewhere between 25 and 30%. Nobody knows quite how many Muslims live in France. Estimates tend to vary between four and five million. France has some very good laws and a very good legislative corpus. But it also needs a real and substantive political will to abolish all kinds of discrimination based on geography, ethnicity and religion. In the meantime, Mawa El Shabini is unlikely to be forgotten. She's already been referred to in some quarters as an unofficial martyr. Marc Vautier, Press TV, Paris.